The Foundation Licence is an entry point. There are three levels of licence in amateur radio, Foundation, Standard and Advanced. The Foundation is the entry point in uh, to the hobby. Um, study, as I said, uh, involves a bit of theory, uh, a little bit of regulations as well, uh, so a little bit around um, uh, how to operate and what you have to do when you operate. And then there is the practical component as well. Um, the requirements, uh, and if you, you don't walk away from this with anything else, um, you'll know that uh, everything is set by the licence conditions determination and you're going to get sick of me saying LCD. <laughs> so, and there'll be a few questions in the exam around the LCD, I can guarantee it. So, um, it does say that uh, all amateurs should have a, either a copy of this or a bookmark of this. It's, it does change semi-regularly, so it's worth going back and actually having a look, uh, look for the updated copy. So bookmark's a good idea. Um, the syllabus, now I always forget one thing, and the one thing I forgot today <laughs> was the syllabus <laughs> document, but that's okay. There is a syllabus, um, a syllabus document in the back of here. However, it is now out of date because it's just been updated. So, and I'll go through some of the updates as we go through these slide packs. But it's a syllabus. No, 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 no. It's actually a, a, a different document. Okay. Um, that's just the amendments. That's, that's just the am amendments. There's been further amendments since then. Awesome. <laughs> um, which, which actually end up giving foundation licensees uh, a little bit more that you can actually do. So, so there's been some requirements that have actually been removed. So, and, and I'll actually go through those in the in the slide packs. This, these slide packs are based on the latest syllabus document. So, um, so it, it does incorporate those changes. Um, so training and assessment, we are volunteer assessors, um, Reg and I, uh, for the Australian Maritime College, who are contracted to the Australian Communications and Media Authority, <laughs> who are the regulator, and I'll be referring to the regulator throughout these presentations. Who I am referring to is the ACMA. They're the people who set everything for the, for the hobby for communications generally in Australia. So uh, that's the ACMA. Um, I mentioned the Foundation Licence Manual, um, you, and you all seem to have a copy, which is fantastic. Um, the Licence Condition Determination and also the Syllabus Document, um, and the Syllabus Document is available on the AMC website, so that's the place that uh, you can go to to actually grab that document, and there is a little tab called Syllabus. Um, this follows that, that document very, very closely. So, uh, And also, I, I don't know whether you've come across them, but there are trial foundation licence exams on the W... Now, I refer to the WIA, the Wireless Institute of Australia. Uh, they're the national body for amateur radio in Australia. Um, on their website, uh, which is wia.org.au, um, there are trial foundation licence exams on there, and you can do them to your heart's content. Um, they'll, they'll, you can go through them and then it tells you what the score is at the end. Uh, a, great little, um, uh, a, a great little resource. So, so um, this is the sort of structure that we're going to be going through. Um, and what I've done in this slide is also combined um, how many questions in the exam you're going to get for each of them. And the reason I've done that is you can see that there's a little bit of a focus on interference and safety. <laughs> Lots more questions about interference and safety. So from a, uh, I suppose, an exam technique point of view, if you come across a question you're not quite sure, but there is an aspect to it that is either interference or safety, that's probably a pretty safe guess <laughs> because there is a real focus on um, Preventing harmful interference, and of course, obviously, operating safely. So, so the other the other questions that uh, are there, license conditions. There's um, a fair few of those because they include obviously the regulations. Couple on technical basics. Couple on transmitters and receivers. Couple on transmission lines and antennas. Propagation. A couple and then the, the others, and then the operating practices and procedures is covered in the practical assessment. And there's a, right at the end of this slide pack, we 
just do a little bit of a revision on what we're going to do in the practical assessment so you've got a bit of an idea. Um, 30 minutes, 25 multiple choice questions, you need to get 70% correct. Um, the practical assessment duration is about 30 to 40 minutes. We've got a reasonably large group, so it's probably more on the 40 minutes rather than the 30, but that's that's okay. We can do it as a, as a group. Um, you also, in the practical assessment, go through and make some contacts, which is great that we've got such a big group because you can all be contacting each other um, uh, and going through on both high frequency and also VHF, we're gonna take you through those. So you'll be making contacts to get a bit of a, 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 bit of a feel for what it's like. Um, and yeah, must achieve 100%. That's, don't worry about that. <laughs> I don't think we've had anybody fail the practical yet. 